In his second year in the NFL, he is quickly turning into one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Part of a defense that kept Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in check week five, handing them their first loss of the season. Trayvon Mullen, thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank you for having me. All right, I want to ask you this question right off the top. What was the message in the locker room after you guys beat the Chiefs, knowing you were heading into a bye and you needed to keep that momentum going forward? I mean, the message for us, we just got to continue to uh, see the goal, see the end goal, uh, mm -hmm. continue to grind, continue to work, continue to stay focused, uh, play together, play as one, um, continue to compete, and, you know, just keep our eyes on the prize. We know we have um, ahead on the schedule. We've got a lot of tough teams, so we just got to continue to prepare, and that's about it. You know, this year you seem more comfortable back there. For you, Trayvon, how much does confidence come into play at the corner position? Confidence is the most important thing I believe mm -hmm. you should have as a cornerback. Uh, I mean, things are going to happen. Plays are going to get made. No receivers going to catch ball. It's about the next play mentality. For me, you just got to be able to move to the next play, be able to lock in, get the next call and line up and see if they can do it again. And for me, that's my goal. I go out there. I got to... I'm contesting every play. I'm competing every play. I want to see if you can beat me every play. I mean, I'm going to put my hands on you. I'm going to be physical. I'm going to play with good technique. And we're just going to go from there. Well, you and Jonathan Abram really are emerging as leaders on this young defense. How do you believe Jonathan's style of play rubs off on you and the rest of the defense? <laughs> like I was talking to John not too long ago, I was telling him, bro, continue to play how you plan. Continue flying around the field. Continue being that leader, continue communicating, because it helps me out and it helps the defense as well. Um, it helps us play fast, it helps us play together. So having John back there, he's like the anchor, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need, he's gonna, he gonna help you, he's gonna tell you, he's gonna communicate with you. And most importantly, he's gonna play fast and he's gonna play with a lot of effort. So I appreciate John. I like that, he's like the anchor. All right, well coming off a solid game against Patrick Mahomes, and now you guys have to go toe to toe against Tom Brady. You have to contend with not just him, but of course the likes of Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. Uh, for you, does going up against your wideouts in practice help prepare you? Yes, it do. We got mm. a lot of different receivers. We got big guys, we got fast guys, mm. we got whatever. We got Renfro, we got Henry Ruggs, we got Waller. Uh, I mean, we got, a, we got Nelly. We got a lot of guys who are competitive guys. So you know that for me helps me as, as well. You know, all those different guys and the different techniques they use and the different releases, it just prepare you for all those receivers and different guys you're gonna face. So having those guys is, is really important to me and I know for our team, so that prepare as well. How do you guard against a guy that's a big guy like Mike Evans? I mean, like I said before, it's, it's me. It's what Trayvon do. It's what Trayvon do Monday mm. through Saturday to prepare him for Sunday. For instance, make sure I have good technique. Uh, make sure I have a good, good eyes. Uh, make sure I finish plays and uh, have confidence in practice. Like all those things that you want to do in the game, you just have to uh, work it in practice. Because if not, it's not going to work on Sunday. So I just emulate game day uh, Monday through Saturday. So you moved from Oakland to Las Vegas. For you, how was the transition and you know life now in Las Vegas? How's that been for you? I mean, it's been a different transition. You know, being in Oakland, it's totally different from Las Vegas. Um, coming out here was a good change for us and our program mm -hmm. as well. Um, for me, myself, I love it. Um, feel like home. You know, uh, most importantly, I just. I just love the football aspect of us coming to Las Vegas, um, starting something new, uh, and continue to, to build our program. Your reaction when you first saw the Vegas facilities and, of course, Allegiant Stadium? I mean, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's so I nice. Just, <laughs> when I just looked at it before even walking in, I'm like, we got the best facility in the, in the nation, you know? Uh, just coming here, all the things that they have for us to utilize, um, from training room to the meeting rooms, uh, from everything, it just, it just all helps us on Sundays. Well, good luck against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers week seven. Uh, Trayvon, we appreciate having you on. No, I appreciate you, Aaron. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you.